Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Out here at the range, it was a beautiful morning. Now it's getting really hot. Uh, I've been out here for over an hour and I'm sweating and getting a little uncomfortable, but we're out here for you. We're doing some more testing with G9 Defense Ammo. Uh, somebody sent this to me. I don't remember if they worked for G9 or they got it and they just sent it to me. I'm gonna look back in my email and uh, touch base with that person. But this is the nine millimeter plus P Woodsman. It is a solid copper, 124 grain, 1200 feet per second projectile. And it has a very interesting profile. So this is what the projectile looks like. It has like a nipple on the top. And other than that, it is solid copper. So it is more of a penetrator round. Um, I tried their um, other round of 80 grain solid copper with uh, like points cut out of the tip of the projectile. And this one is more solid without those designs. So we're gonna see what that does in the gel. But first we're gonna run it through the chronograph for some speed. So 1200 feet per second advertised on the box. I am going to be using a P365X. It is more of a self-defense weapon, something that you would carry out and about uh, versus a five inch barrel of, some people carry full, full sizes, but not me. So we're going to try it out of a 365X, 3.1 inch barrel. I don't expect to get 1200 feet per second. Somewhere between 1050 and 1100 feet per second is what I anticipate, but hey, I'm usually wrong. So we'll see. Got the chronograph set up over there. We're going to put five shots through there. Then we're gonna to go to the gel. Let's get going. All right, P365X, five rounds through the chronograph. Oh, let's go. Eleven oh one. Ten ninety. Ten eighty four. 1067, 1075. I was right about the speeds. So the average was 1084. And that's pretty much what I expected. So um, 3.1 inch barrel knocked off about 100 feet per second. So what does that all mean for the gel? Let's find out. G9 Defense Woodsman 124 grain, 9 millimeter plus P, solid copper with the nipple tip. Through the gel, I've got two blocks set up. Uh, these are nearing the end of their life, uh, the, especially the one in the back. That is just a catch should this go all the way through. With the other G9 Defense, it did go through into the second gel. Will this one go through the gel? This one's going to be traveling at about uh, 175. No. About 200, a little over 225, 240 feet per second slower than that other one. Will that make it to the second gel? I don't think so. What do you think? Here on YouTube, people don't like to show their mess ups or their mistakes, but I do. So that was my second shot. Uh, the first one I thought maybe skirted out, but it was both were solid hits. And I think that this is acting more like just a full metal jacket target round that it just won't get caught up in anything. And I think it went straight through. So I'm gonna put this box behind the second gel and test that theory. So we're gonna do it one more time. So that theory is 
gone. I still don't know where it went. Still don't know where it went um, they're just not in there so I got a piece of paper in the front so I could see exactly where it goes through because it is heavily used gel my bad and then I've got one a piece of paper between the two in case it goes through the first one I could see where it was going actually I should probably put one behind the third one hold on now we got three pieces of paper front middle and back we're gonna find out where this is going Okay, solid hit. A little on the left side though. So it clearly went in right here. Okay. And it clearly went through the second piece. And it did not go through the third piece. So, where there it is, finally. I don't know what the heck was happening there, but we found it. So that, wow. I think those other ones might've been going through. So that's the projectile right there. And that, that is uh, that's some pretty stuff. That went all the way to the back. So that got almost 24 inches of penetration, or no, 32 inches of penetration. Um, that's it's pretty incredible. That is highly penetrable round. Let's go home and talk about it. Back at the house, recap time. This was a pleasant surprise. I was really shocked once I figured everything out. And I wound up shooting four rounds at the gel. The first two, I believe, just went right through. Number three kind of went out the side, but in the second gel. And then number four, when I put the paper in the front, in the middle, and in the back, um, I was able to see that it did not come out, um, did not go straight through. But nevertheless, I mean, 32 inches of penetration is absolutely fantastic, considering it's a 124 grain projectile. It is a plus P, so it has a little extra oomph, but it was not traveling that fast, especially out of my 3.1 inch 365X. I mean, that did not generate a lot of speed that you would think that it would go straight through. So this is this is really a winner, the G9 Woodsman. It really is an absolute winner. If you are if you are in team penetrator versus team um, hollow point, um, this G9 Woodsman was really, really fantastic. The something we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do some follow-up with this versus that Underwood Extreme uh, Defender, I think it is. Um, I can't remember off the top of my bat, but that's 68 grain. And I mean, we did not get half of the penetration that we got with this one. And it is it due to the design, this nipple-like design? It almost like a full metal jacket, but not. And you can see how big that projectile is coming out of the gel. I mean, that is gonna do some damage. So we're gonna have to try and simulate how it would go against some human tissue. I mean, I made short ribs and uh, I think I'm gonna go grab the ribs out of the trash and put them in the freezer. And 
I think we're going to try and shoot them and see how it would react when hitting some bone. Uh, and that's the best way that I can think about doing it. So I'm going to go get those out of the trash. We're going to, oh, excuse me, I got very excited there for a second. We're going to figure this out. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that test. It is so ridiculously hot down here in Florida. I made a video, which I think will come out in a few days. And I was going to make three videos that day, but I wound up only making one because it was so hot. But I'm here for you. I'm going out in the heat. I'm making these videos for you. I hope you enjoy them. That's going to do it for this one. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. And we will see you in the next video.